Hello everyone, you're watching SGTV. I'm your host, uh, Indranil Basu. Today we have former Delhi medium pesa, uh, Mr. Kunal Lal. Uh, Kunal, uh, warm welcome to SGTV. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited to have you on the show uh, this evening. Uh, how have you been? Hope, hope life is treating you well. Thank you so much, Indranil, for, you know, uh, calling me over and, uh, you know, discussing cricket uh, memories of when I was playing and you were there and used to cover all the matches. Yeah, all good. So far, so good, as we say. So far, so good. But, you know, what what we heard day for yesterday, losing out yeah. uh, on, on, on a big legend, Yashpal yeah. Sharma, sir. You know, it, it, we all have memories uh, surrounding him. I was, I was, I was, it was a terrible news early in the morning. Was yeah, it was actually, it was actually Indranil and you know, uh, my, my father uh, was exercising and you know, he, uh, suddenly all the news came in and you know, I've known uh, Yasser since, you know, when, <laughs> even when I was, when I was born, uh, then he was our coach at the Zonal Cricket Academy in North. So good memories with him, you know, as a coach, as a mentor and as well, uh, you know, uh, a person who served so much for Indian cricket and Delhi cricket in Punjab as well. And, and, uh, and felt strongly about the game whenever, and he he didn't mind fighting with the lowest of staff to ensure he 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 made his point convincingly. That was really special about him. Yeah. Absolutely, you know we have memories of him. You know when we were at the zonal cricket camp uh, and staying at uh, Broadway Hotel near the uh, near Ferocia Kotla. You know he just uh, there was a curfew of nine uh, p.m. at night, and one day at uh, eight fifty he was there with uh, a bunch of. Uh, ice lollies in his hand, uh, um, just a surprise to check if everyone was in the room or not. So yeah, good memories for sure. No, but, uh, you know, we'll miss him forever, for sure. But, you know, what what what, what I want to ask you is, uh, don't you miss bowling? I do, you know, but I think um, you always miss, you know, when you, uh, you know, um, uh, when you start playing cricket and then you go through the ranks of under 16, 19 and doing all those things and yeah, you are, uh, you, you always do, you know, so you keep rolling your arm over here or there, somewhere or the other, wherever we get the opportunity to. But I, I, I seriously and sincerely feel you, you retired too early. You <laughs> a lot of it left in you, but you decided to go the other way around. Uh, I didn't decide to go the other way around, you know, sometimes uh, in life, you know, you, uh, uh, the, the incidents uh, which happen or the things which happen and you d you decide to jail and you know uh, when I did decide to go away and I you know I went to Australia for about three years and you know worked with uh, had the opportunity to work with Cricket Australia play as a professional for one of the clubs uh, uh, for the state association where I was working at uh, so yeah I enjoyed my time there you know it was a good break from uh, um, all the uh, statements and all the things were happening around. So it's always good. And I came back as a uh, new person. Uh, so I'm happy that I made that call. No, I, and I remember my your first game, in fact, uh, at, I think it was at Colonel Singh Stadium, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it was against the railways and uh, really? you took five wickets. It was an impressive yeah. start. And, and you played around uh, 13 games, took 41 wickets. You were going strong. I don't know what happened. If you can tell us what happened, why? Why did you? Why did you leave? I mean, you you left at the brink of you know IPL starting. You could have been an I. You could have been a star there. I, uh, I, yeah, see, yeah. I, I know yeah. there's a bit of bowling, but I can tell you really honestly, you could have really made a lot of difference. I, I really liked your run up, your action, your bowling. You could move the ball away from the right hander, which are rare qualities. Uh, I, I don't know what happened. I mean, if you can kindly tell us. No, injury, you know, you, you know, I did get, uh, you know, injured while playing a one day game in Punjab at Moali, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, I was fielding at fine leg and I fell down and I hit my left shoulder on the ground. Uh, and after that, I went through rehab and everything. And, uh, uh, you know, as it is, you know, sometimes things don't go as you want them to go. But uh, today when I'm talking to you, uh, I can only say one thing that, uh, yeah, all right, uh, you know, you're saying that, you know, I could have done more. Uh, but, you know, I've got no regrets today of uh, what I've done, you know, uh, through the ranks of Delhi cricket and I performed and kept on playing till the day, you know, I made my first class debut. And every match, I mean, in Delhi, obviously, if you don't perform in one match, they'll start uh, talking about 
a particular player. But you were phenomenal the way you carried it. And every time you got the new ball, you minimum had two wickets next to your name. I remember. That was a great quality. With the new ball, it's very, very tough to see uh, Kunal Lal off. And I mean, it, you were really bang on target. I really liked it. And, and we scored round and round of Kotla seeing, seeing you bowl. Those are good memories, which will never yeah. happen in Indian cricket. Uh, the, those were the times when uh, all the press people could walk around and if you're feeling yes. in fine leg, you could have a word with us. <laughs> uh, well bowl and a good over. So yeah, those, yeah, good time. Yeah, obviously things have changed and protocols have come into place. But yeah, you know, as we say, you know, everyone moves on with time. And you know, you look at new things and you, uh, you know, start doing, uh, you know, start looking out. But you still uh, be attached to the game. But they say, you know, cricket, cricket is in your blood. You you can't, <laughs> you can't, you may have retired, you're still there with the game, helping kids to learn the game. You have your school, we'll come to that. But later yeah. on, what can, I mean, you've seen a legend at home. Yeah. How was it, how was it growing with him? I mean, he, he's, wherever he's played, he's, he's such a legend. I mean, Madan Lal sir, uh, I mean, even wherever you go, uh, the, he used to bowl his heart out. He was a champion. Do you remember? Do you, do you have memories of his bowling days in when he used to bowl in club matches and all that? Uh, little bits of it because, uh, uh, you know, I was uh, very young when he retired. So, you know, uh, I was born in 84. So, you know, yeah. comparison to that. So, yeah, very less. But I've heard, uh, you know, whoever I've met, his colleagues, uh, you know, uh, all, all the you know players, everyone uh, who's he is associated with, uh, yeah, good things about him, and you know, uh, I'm happy that uh, where I am today, you know, I'm his son, so I'm, uh, I'm happy about it. That's all right. He was phenomenal the way he led Delhi to a Ranji Trophy title, uh, late 80s, I think 88, 18, uh, that that season, around that season. Was there's, phenomenal. There's, there's only one story I keep hearing from a lot of people, which is. Uh, Jawan Lal uh, Nehru Stadium against Pakistan and uh, Kirti sir and uh, him <laughs> having a partnership, uh, <laughs> uh, except leaving the '83 World Cup apart. Yeah, so yeah, good memories. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but but that name is really big, you know, in Delhi cricket. Whenever we talk about fast bowling, uh, I don't think anyone is uh, better his record in terms of impact. Uh, Madan Lal sir is is a big big player in that way. So that that surname. Lal, that, did it weigh a lot on your on you when you were playing for uh, Delhi that time? Because you're, you know, whatever you did, you know, I mean, was it was it like really tough to carry that surname? Was, uh, um, yeah, yeah, you know, Indrani, when you are young, uh, sometimes maybe you don't understand. And yes, you are young, so you don't understand. Also, when uh, people unnecessarily do talk about it, uh, and you know, put you under scrutiny too early, uh, but. I guess, you know, th this is how life is, you know, everyone's been uh, today, uh, whether it's me or whoever, or, you know, even um, Arjun today, for example, you know, uh, it, this is, I think this is, uh, see that that's, that's one difference I've seen, uh, you know, when I was in Australia and to our country that even when Steve was son was playing there, you know, there was not major news anywhere. If he was doing well, he was doing well. If he wasn't, he wasn't. So it was, you know, it, it was black or white. It was nothing in the middle part. And, you know, that that's how it should be, you know. I think Absolutely. going forward, going forward for this generation and whoever's kids end up playing or want to play the sport, I think that comparison should not be there. You know, obviously, the public will do it, the media will do it. But I, I personally think it shouldn't be there. No, to each his own, which is so true. And uh, Gautam Vaderaj is saying, Hi, Kunal. Uh, good to see you. It was nice to have you on scholarship when you were there with... I Owen was. Uh, I had a, I had a good time with uh, at ONGC with Gautam Bhai and uh, there was Nanupa, Mithun Bhaiya, uh, Bandhu. Uh, so yeah, good memories uh, with ONGC. You know, uh, traveling with them, uh, being a part of the system was good. Yeah. But but tell me your memories with SG Ball because you uh, moved the ball fairly. You know, either side of the wicket, which was I used to really enjoy. You know, I mean, swing bowling is something. Uh, which is phenomenal and bowling uh, in the right areas. Uh, you had a nice carry also, which is, which I remember. So, See, so really. I, I, I think in the it was, you know, SG ball, obviously, you know, we started when we were playing under 16 and under 19 and all those things. And initially, you don't come to know, you know, it was always like, uh, 
people saying okay first five six overs uh, it won't do anything once it starts going the un uh, the conventional way and then the unconventional way is going to start happening but you know i never realized because i was young so you know i remember breaking my wrist you know and it just used to naturally go out and for the left handers it used to come in so i think you know uh, with with uh, with a uh, skill like fast bowling you you're just learning every day and i remember by the time i started playing in australia as a professional for the for the club my wrist was like this it never okay. broke <laughs> so you know it it, it it takes time and a lot of hours to actually realize what you're doing where your hand is going what is happening uh but uh, you know the, the, uh, the good the good things which all the fast bowlers always said just keep bowling you know just keep bowling the more you bowl the better you get absolutely but how much help i'm i'm, I'm sure you must have got a lot of help but i want to i want to know the magnitude of help you got from your dad he's such a legend was he was he ever angry that you didn't bowl well was he was he uh, yeah, he, 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 he was always the first one uh, to call me and say uh, you know you didn't bowl well and obviously uh, if you remember when i made my debut he was the coach of delhi as well <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was tough to uh, and uh, it was tough uh, either to call him dad so i never called him dad obviously because it was a team so i always used to call him paji so <laughs> that's also a, <laughs> well, Uh, so that so, was i mean how i mean uh, did it come naturally you had to force yourself you know no no i had to you know because uh, he, he's a coach of the team he's just not my coach it's not a individual so sport it's a te- team sport so yeah either you call him sir and paji and obviously in north uh, you know the trend and the tradition is to call your seniors paji absolutely yeah. so it was it, it's like it's like a student as a teacher in a class and the teacher happens to be the dad you know i mean that, that. so what what do you call you call can't call him dad in front of the entire class you have to call him sir right absolutely. it's like that absolutely <laughs> but how was he how was he he was of course uh, the india india coach he had a lot of reputation as we discussed uh, but how was he in the delhi dressing room was he strict was he was he uh, very very fair very lenient what how was he as a coach I think whether it's the Delhi dressing room or it's at home, I think he's always been straightforward and honest. And you, you would be knowing the most about him, covering him over so many years. And I obviously know him. So over the period of time, uh, I just understood there's no middle path. So there's only one way: you be straight, you be honest. Whatever is happening, just tell me, and then we'll see what to do. Yeah, and and Delhi cricket had so many legends that time. Uh, now. we we sort of lose a count because you know some people come from two three season they disappear into oblivion they come some new face would come but that time you know if you if you see the lineup you you would know that this, this is the team they had a particular they had a they had a combination you know it's it's not like uh, some big player came like like it happens right now they play one or two games they disappear for india for for national duty and the combination gets affected but that time delhi had a lot of lot of fun you know uh, were you part of that team which won the ranji trophy in 2000 no no i wasn't no no i you, wasn't you just left before that yeah i just left before that yeah, yeah because uh, that 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 team also you know they and the hard work you guys did from the time you played delhi is to be quite a superpower in in domestic but for unfortunately fortunately they couldn't win but 2007 they did win but from that time when you see delhi cricket now Uh, do you see any drastic difference in in the kind of players we are producing in delhi cricket we have abundance of talent there is no two ways about it but see they they you know the delhi has a lot of talent uh, but the uh, indrani at the end of the day you know i think it's up to the system uh, which uh, which um, obviously you know uh, everyone's trying to do their best to get out because i i always i'm a firm believer that boys who stay in delhi live in delhi or you know should get Uh, a fair chance because you know uh, to be uh, straight forward and honest you know they should be um, you know if they if they've been bought in bottom in delhi they're doing their schooling their education in delhi uh, you know and if they are talented why not so so you know you you left the game early as we discussed earlier and then you realized some other dream it came calling so what was that dream you can kindly tell us and you're doing so well and and um, congratulations to you for creating such a such dream and to be able to realize such a dream and it's it's, it's a huge thing it's going to they, 
going to be there in your life forever, which is a great, yeah. great initiative. You can kindly tell us what, what exactly is your dream here. Oh, so, you know, uh, over, over the years when we played as well and everything we saw and came across, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people missing their basic education, a lot of kids. And, you know, when I was in Australia for three years, uh, you know, just going around the entire country and seeing the culture there where sports and education was coming together. And, you know, the basic education was very important uh, to every together. And as uh, Indranil, you know, it's a team game, you know. So uh, when I came back in 2013 and, uh, you know, in 2014, we started uh, a residential school. But as we say, it's a team game. So uh, my other, other part of the team members and the most important parts are uh, my father and Mr. Subhash Aroda, you know, who uh, stays there. And uh, we we established in 2014 and it's called the Amenity Madanlal Residential Cricket School in Rudrapur, Uttarakhand. Yeah. Uh, and over the, over the years, we've grown uh, infrastructure wise because I think in, a good infrastructure is very important uh, these days. And obviously, going to a, B, a tier B city or a, a tier three city is also because you know that sense of security. Staying in one campus with the school, the hostel is hundred meters. You get out of the hostel, the ground is fifty meters. So you know the parents also get that sense of security, and you know then and the kids get more time to focus on the game and then do their basic education as well. I think we don't have any cricket hostel school. I mean. Uh, I mean, we, we know a lot of sports colleges are there across the country, but specifically... Because if you see, Indranil, if, if you see, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, you know, you, you would have realized it yourself as well. Uh, the kind of, uh, the exposure to younger kids only gets to once they hit, hit into the system, once they get into the junior state side. When they're 11, 12, people are not te teaching them how to run, how to do, now they are, you know, it's the trend is changing. But uh, earlier, the grassroots level, there was nothing, yeah. you know, it was only, uh, there was no, you know, you don't know how to hold, a, you know, how, how to uh, tell a kid how much to train, what to do. So, you know, and obviously if you're starting at 10 and 11 and you see the high and high coordination and you think that the kid, uh, the, the, the kid has uh, the ability, you know, see at the end of the day, I, I was uh, listening and, you know, I have the, I'm fortunate enough to, uh, sit with my father and uh, Kapil sir and everyone and you know everyone's not going to end up playing for India everyone's not going to uh, be a uh, professional cricketer but you know uh, the game teaches you so much over a period of time you know that team bonding that carries uh, you know your character your teams everything comes into play which I think uh, helps you out and uh, at the end of the day I, I, I remember my father pushed me into cricket and he wanted to ensure that this little uh, kid doesn't get diverted towards any other vices in life so you know and, and sports teaches you to uh, bring in those you know inculcate those good qualities good, good value system which is very important yeah. and it, 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 it goes hand in hand sports and education and you're creating, uh, that sort of uh, uh, you know foundation which is so important and everyone everyone in our society they look for finished products when, when someone decides to go down and and you know create that you know look at the grassroots which Absolutely. is what you and I love that I love that but and tell no. me something how many students are there how many cricket pitches pitches are there how many coaches are there looking up to those kids if you can just so, tell us that. so so we when when we, when we started in 2014 it was a very new con concept and you know obviously getting uh, people to understand where a place like Rudrapur is situated <laughs> um, and you know. And, yeah. So, and then, you know, we, the first thing we, we did was to work on the infrastructure. We created a, we already had an indoor facility. So we completely ramped up the, uh, the center wickets. We made five center wickets there. Our cricket nets came up. Uh, then three years down the line, uh, you know, there was a new ground made. Uh, there's a, now, now there's a shed where even in monsoon season, we, uh, we have three turf wickets. The kids can still train. Uh, you know, so they're not missing out at all. You know, like monsoon, you don't have places to train, places to, you know, practice. So you, the only thing you could uh, get would be a cement wicket or an artificial turf. But we've got three turf wickets indoor. Uh, and, you know, we were fortunate enough in 2020, January, uh, it was a uh, couple, uh, Dev sir came to um, Rudrapur uh, with Madan sir. Uh, 
and uh, they we made a couple day pavilion in his honor so he inaugurated that there you can call him dad right now you're not playing for day <laughs> <laughs> you know it, it just it just naturally comes out <laughs> No, no, you can call it. But uh, yeah, it's it's such a lovely news because indoor turf is we generally when when we go get into indoor, it's it's in, it's a astro turf. But yeah. when you have real turf, which is which is which is great, and for the kids. And how many students are there right now? Yeah, so we've got about hundred and fifteen from all over the country. Wow, wow! And this is uh, and are they are they very keen to become cricketers? Are they looking I think for? That, that I, I, I think for the country. I think that's that's the reason they've come there. Otherwise, schooling they can do anywhere. <laughs> they can even do it in their own state. But you know, obviously, when uh, as I said, you know, the uh, parents also need uh, to feel a sense of security. And you know, uh, for me, uh, it's been very important over the years. And uh, uh, for my, uh, for my, for our director, Mr. Uh, Aroda as well. Okay, you know. We okay, you know, there's th one thing which is all right. Obviously, if you have the infrastructure, we're providing you things. There's a fee structure, but if someone who cannot make it or there is someone who is not being able to do it, we have to be honest to the parents. We can't be, uh, we can't keep the parents uh, blind and say, "All right, we'll keep taking your money," and you know, you keep giving us, and this is how it works. It doesn't work. I I don't think I've learned it that way from my father, and I don't think it's going to ever work like that going forward as well. Wow, what a what a culture you're creating! Because uh, uh, it's it's important to be honest, especially this game teaches you teaches teaches you to be honest. If you're not, then you're going to lose out. If not today, yes. tomorrow for certain. And that's that's a lovely thing. I I don't think any school in India would uh, would actually go up to the parents and say your your kids are not good enough for certain certain things. It doesn't happen so honestly. This is but what. Uh, but Indranil, you know, you know, if we don't tell them the truth, when they're 18, 19, when they pass out of the school, if they've not made it, they're going to blame us. Yeah. So why not tell them earlier so at least they can focus on something else? Absolutely. Which is which is so good. So you have hundred more than hundred potential cricketers coming out of the school and serving India, which is what we're looking forward to. We uh, just trying uh, and and you know it's it's been a good thing that we started in 2014 and. Uh, you know, uh, BCCI gave uh, you know Uttarakhand the status of playing junior cricket, so that helped, that's helped us a lot as well. You know, because otherwise the kids used to go back to their states and everything. Now there's a clause where you know if if you're there for about sorry uh, two years and three years, then you're eligible to play because you're studying there. Or, you know, you're staying there. So which is good. You know, if the kids can have that opportunity, why not? Do you have anyone playing at the underage? Uh... We, uh, under 16, 19, 23. Yeah, we, we, we've had about 10, uh, 10 to 12 boys who have played over since Uttarakhand's got the status. Uh, you know, wow. under 19 they've played, under 16 they've played, under 14 also. Obviously, because uh, we are uh, from the younger age, so obviously no one's uh, broken into Ranji Trophy at the moment. But yeah, um, uh, fingers crossed uh, and with their hard work, uh, they should soon. You, you, what sort of coaches do you have there? You, you, you yourself is a coach, I'm sure about it. After playing first class cricket, you know fairly. No, I did. I, I did my qualification for Cricket Australia as well because that was mandatory to work with cricket. Uh, for, because I was at uh, ACT, uh, you know, uh, Canberra. So uh, you have to uh, have qualification to work with them. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have, uh, all because see, uh, not many uh, coaches uh, are BCCI level one at the moment. Uh, so you know, um, my major, our major goal was to have uh, uh, coaches who played good amount of cricket. Plus, they've done an NIS course over a you know not the short course for three months, but you know that course which is a complete course which happens, I believe, in NIS Patiala and in these places three years. You know, over a period of time. So uh, you know, it's very important to have good coaches as well uh, because you know it, it's a feeder. Uh, so you know, whatever the curriculum is made, the sessions are made. Um, uh, whatever uh, dad tells us, uh, you know, when he visits there to change or to do, we all have to do that. You know? So we have to inculcate all those things, which are which is really important to pass on to the coaches. So they need to understand the game to actually take it forward. So true, so true. But you know, without Delhi is the only place, the place to learn cricket. There is another <laughs> place in Rudrapur, which is uh, <laughs> you know growing with every year with passage of time, which is a great news. Kunal, you're doing a great initiative. But coming back to your cricket uh, acumen, uh, 
you have been a bowler and uh, during your time which was the best domestic batsman you bowled against ah oh. uh, see so uh, i had the opportunity to to bowl against uh, there was uh, you know so i took my my best haul was 7 uh, in bengal in, against uh, bengal 4 uh, okay. and 3 uh, where we won the game and i remember gotham uh, scoring 100 in the second inning to chase down the score बॉम्बे वसीम जाफर यू नो आई हैजूमदारूनिटी टू यू नो प्ले अगेंस्ट यू नो सो इट वॉज आई थिंक इट वॉज and you know when when you even meet them you know when i was as gautam bhai said when we were uh, with the uh, ongc you know you get to meet so many people when you go go play uh, the tournament in chandigarh the jp athra and all these tournaments and you interact you know it's, i i i think it's it's just a great when you listen to players who have so much experience in first class cricket uh, just you just uh, by uh, listening to them you learn so much you know uh, uh, i remember the now nowadays kids say uh the parents say why should uh, my kid go if he is not playing the game but i remember when we used to play uh when we were not playing we had to score so we should you have to watch the game so there is so much to learn there as well so true so true and and uh, it's not not only about playing cricket you have to be a good listener also when the coach is saying something to listen to these uh, to his uh, words what he is trying to mean what he means but that's why we have initiated this uh, on sg tv of uh, getting all the stalwarts all the unsung heroes of domestic cricket who have made their states uh, their families proud and they've got so much cheer to their families and you're doing a great job munal uh, i really need to compliment you for creating right. an infrastructure and for looking after the generation to come you know i mean the next generation giving them that sort of platform i mean as you rightly pointed out i mean how many people actually have access to meet a test cricketer Yeah. You you were lucky. I was lucky. I saw when I was young. I saw Arun Lal right in front of me. Yeah. So uh, then we became journalists. But if you are playing cricket, you need right people all all around you to give the right advice. And you guys are doing a great job because mentorship is what is missing, which we missed during our time. And I'm sure things are improved. And school like yours will definitely change the culture. That you know you have to go out and help people. to get get over bad times and and you know so that the drop offs don't happen this is a huge right. problem okay. um, uh, thanks a lot for coming and sharing your views on cricket and you have been a champion uh, you have been a champion cricketer there's, there's no two ways about i really used to enjoy watching you bowl and access and and could access everything what was happening in the delhi dressing room through those walks around the boundary <laughs> <laughs> which is not which is not possible ever because there are a lot of restrictions for bcci matches you need to have a uh, have a special card made for for to get into the stadium you need permission and you can't you can't go beyond certain boundary you know you have to be within the restricted zone this is how cricket has changed but uh, the interaction level will always be the same always <laughs> thanks a lot <laughs> and, thank you so uh, much anil for having me over yeah thanks a lot for coming on sg tv uh, stay safe and keep doing well Thank you, you. Chair. Thank you. Thank you.